what's up? It's D Hill again. So, you know, I just put up my Enslave video. Um, my initial impressions of Enslave. This is going to be my initial impressions of Castlevania Lord of Shadows. So let's get right into it. Um, first, I want to say graphics are gorgeous. Um, they're very, very polished. Um, there's some trickery being done, but it looks the overall presentation looks beautiful. The character models are sweet. Um, there's some scene, I don't want to ruin any story for you guys, or any scenes, that if you've seen them, on like game trailers or IGN, uh, there are some spectacular, and seeing it on you, on videos on uh, internet, do not do it justice. There are some really nice polished parts, uh, especially there's one with the werewolf and then the rain's coming down, and it just looks really, really well done. Uh, the animations are super believable, fluid, just really crisp and clean. Um, the enemies, they're not like, you're not constantly fighting, constantly fighting, constantly fighting. There is some good traversal to be had. Um, I want, would like to, you know, mention out that uh, for all of you who think, okay, this is on the level of the Uncharted 2 or on the level of God of War 3, Graphically, I hate to tell you, it's not. It's really, really, really good. And if you don't believe me, God of War 3. So, yeah. I have them both. Same TV. So, I can do a fairly accurate comparison. Do not get me wrong. It looks beautiful. Um, there's lots and lots of textures. Really rich. Um, a lot of stuff's going on. Uh, there is a high level of fidelity for a multi-platform. It is really, well, multi-plat title. It is really, really polished. Um, does look at some points, though, that the engine has a little bit of trouble. There's, like I said, there's a lot going on. Um, the developer, uh, Mercury... Uh, Mercury Steam, I can't remember the name, uh, the same people who did Jericho, they they had very ambitious with this title. Uh, so far, the, like the attacks feel really, really weighty, and I like it. It makes it feel like you are having an impact on the enemies. Um, and you don't see that so much in games. And Slave tries to do it with a cinematic flair, but Castlevania, when you hit it feels like you hit that character. The enemies don't just like walk through it and but take damage. No, they react to the damage, and I, I like that. To me, it's more believable for the type of environment. And Slave does the same thing, uh, but it's more of a cinematic flair. You're just regular attacking. It doesn't feel weighted. With Castlevania, it feels like there's a weight behind it, and it's mainly because it's very geared towards action. Um, you know, it's following the uh, God of War formula. Um, Voice acting, really well done. I like how you can find scrolls and, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, this is going to be boring. For me, I enjoyed it where you can pick up scrolls and get, like, history on what's going on. Like, this character is dead and you find a scroll and you read about the last moments of their life or what they were trying to accomplish before they passed away. Um, you know, I won't get into too much detail. For where I'm at, I've played about two hours of it since I got home from work. I, I don't know if you can see this too well. There's a, it's really fluid. Um, there's a, like I already went through one boss fight, uh, and I love it. I, I love how they, the camera does this really cool feature to keep it nice and cinematic, where it like kind of drops. At least for this boss fight, I, I you know, I haven't gotten that far yet. It drops back, and like so, your character is always like faced in on the enemy. Um, so as you move left or right, the camera will have this like really nice cinematic like curving and like arcing to it. Um, it really draws you in. And uh, a lot of games when you fight bosses, you know, you can rotate the camera. You don't need to do any of that. Um, and I, I think I actually like this experience with fighting a boss this way because it's always cinematic. When they're breaking stuff that's around them, it's cinematic. 
Um, it feels like you're in one of those blockbuster Hollywood movies. Um, I think they took a lot of, at least the way I see it, is they took a lot of inspiration from a fa one of my favorite movies, Van Helsing. Uh, you know, the one with Hugh Jackman and uh, Kate uh, Beckinsale. Um, the inspirations, you can see that there, and through the whole, like when the raining, it, I mean, it's bright for a Castlevania game, but it still has a lot of that undertone for, you know, Castlevania series. The hack and slash, the whip, the heavy weighted whip, the jump mechanics feel like the right weight. I heard some complaints about the rolling feature, the rolling mechanic, or dodge. Sorry, but you're a noob if you think it doesn't. You just, you adjust your timing. Um, there's not too much weight. Maybe it's because I'm really good at like these hack and slash adventure games that, you know, I can time, you know, if you check me, I've got platinums on all my God of War games. Um, but if I'm going to roll, you adjust your timing. It's just those kind of, those kind of logics that you play as a gamer. As some people said that, you know, I don't want to get too much because, you know, I will do my review. But I just want to say one thing to, you know, uh, IGN and game trailers. Got two things for you guys. One, uh, you guys complain about having, you feel like developers need to hold your hands and feel this need to hold gamers' hands and you complain about that. And then on Castlevania, you complain that, you know, well, you kind of, you, you kind of get lost and blah, blah, blah. Which is it? Do you want a, a map that pretty much says, hey, go here, do this? Or do you want to be able to figure it out and, you know, traverse the area, see what the developer does? give you because none of these paths are just like a waste of your time there it's scenery there, there's a lot to it um and i really enjoy it, the exploration value uh, it takes me back to you know playing like castlevania the symphony and i or older games where they you know encourage you to explore all in all i'm having a blast with this game uh, i love like the blood effects and the weight to the weapons the rolls are right the fighting feels right um Everything's got a cinematic flair. From I mean, you can't just walk down an aisle without it feeling cinematic. Um, there, the platforming, um, interesting, like the jumping angles. There's one scene where I was at where you know there's like these rocks, uh, these rocks like pillars that you're on, and you have to jump from each one of them. They're like plateaus or uh, platforms, and it's not so much that it's a trouble. It's you have to mentally figure out use some spatial continuity to realize when I'm controlling the analog stick I don't want to jump towards the camera I want to jump more away from the camera and you know not you know in the direction of the platform but it, it's interesting how they for the platforming at least the scenes that I did so far it went to a side scroll style of play and I think that throws people's off their spatial like a, orientation throws them off all in all I'm having a blast. I would definitely, so far from what I've experienced, you know, you have to get all the way through the game, and they said it's going to be like 20 hours, so the, the pacing really is important to, for a game like this, grinding and all that stuff, um, but so far, two thumbs up, enjoying it like hell, I'm going to get back into it, um, you know, tomorrow I'll give you an update of where I'm at, um, let me know what you think, if you like my the video, if you think I just, I'm retarded, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine too. Rate my video up. If you don't like it, rate it down. Leave your comments. Just tell me what you feel. I want to hear what you guys feel. If you've already picked it up, I want to hear. Um, yeah, so I'll get more out. You know, you can always follow me on hiphopgamershow.com. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's T underscore Hill Zero. Or if you want to send me a friend request on PSN and play with me and my buddies, uh, usually on the weekends, it's T Dash Hill. So that's what I've got for tonight. I'm out. Peace.